Settle down there, Menace. Yeah. No? Hey, somebody's a little wound up. A little wound up. And it's me. Oh, you already put it over here. Yeah, I put it right here. Oh, look at that. Hey, holy. It's just sitting in the trunk. Like so. the big kids. Right? I oh, gave that's it a cool. quick clean. She yeah, was covered yeah. in a layer of oil and dirt. Like, it's weird to see oil on top of an intake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, who knows? Gave it a quick was this. One bolted to it? It was, yeah. What car is this from? It, it, it was, I think it was in the trunk of your flat top when oh. we got it. Really? And huh. uh, then you shoved it over to mine. Yeah. Well, it, at the time we didn't have the 401. Right. With so, the extra intake. Well, and you've got a carburetor? It's not going to hurt your feelings? Uh, I? I have multiple carburetors. Okay, because I don't have one of these. Yeah, like I may need Did to. Did you throw that on? No, that was just as oh, I found it. Oh, really? All this was on here. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So that oh, linkage that's completely could be ready to go then. Right. You're missing a little linkage here. And Alice. there's the starter switch. That's the starter switch. You're missing some linkage, what? Here. Yeah, it'd be pushed right up here. to the. There right it is. There. Yeah, yeah, there's a link there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so that would pull that way, and as it warms up, it would pull that way. Yeah, that's easy. We yeah. can make that if we have to. Oh, cool. Not well, bad, eh? Yeah, I love it. But I was surprised. Well, maybe it is the small bolt pattern. It's both. I don't I know. I notice it's on the inside. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll have a look. This is what model of carburetor? Is I AFB? would call it AFB, yeah. Yeah. It's got the weighted doors down inside. Okay. Okay. I can't actually... But yeah, you, well, you can fine. always do this. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hear it hear clink, it? yeah. Okay, so we cleaned off a little bit of staining. It may or may not have been rust, but it wasn't nothing. I think it was something. Gave it a rinse. Okay, now more goo. More oh, goo. I'll goo the lobes once we're in, right? There's no point doing them now. Hey? I do it all. I do it all at once. And then I I probably do the bearings first, then I do the shaft, and then I stick it all back together. I'll do this then. There. Whatever. You can do the bearings in the block yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is kind of the fun part, but it's really messy. Yeah. I don't know. To me, the fun part is taking it for a drive on stuff. <laughs> Actually, I, I oh, like yeah? all this. It's, it's got lots of fun parts between now and then. The fun, you know what's going to be fun is taking the body off. That'll be cool, for sure. Lifting it off with the hoist and the, the forklift or whatever. And see how many bolts are doing something. Yeah. Well... I'm hoping that all of both of these Buicks, I think we got cars with good frames and good supports and good body mounts and stuff. So I'm not. Uh, Nobody checks that stuff. You just build a hot engine yeah. put it on the road. <laughs> Nobody looks underneath, whatever. <laughs> You'd swear that was the case of some of the cars that people end up with. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, if you're buying cars for five, six hundred bucks, and you know, I don't look underneath. Sure. It's five hundred bucks. I do. I did. <laughs> and more, I look underneath. And I'm like, yep, yeah, it's just as rusty as I figured it would be. But of course, I've never bought. I've never spent real money on a car, so or not very often. No. I mean, what's real money these days? I mean, you know, I see these guys spend thirty grand on cars that should be in the garage, right. like. Because it has shiny paint. Shiny paint. But usually the cars I buy aren't trying to hide anything because they're either 
decent originals or they're complete basket case garbage and you you know if i'm buying basket case examples of really rare cars well it's going to be junk i don't even need to look underneath i know what i'm getting myself into but i also know yeah. how to fix it you know how to fix it it's less of a concern that's right so, you know it's like it can't be too clean and it can't be too well oiled so whatever you know like oh you ruined it because you cleaned it too much or, yeah Nobody ever said that. Nobody yeah. ever said, oh, you ruined it because you put too much oil in when you put it together. Uh, everybody, I don't know, Some. what's your take on assembly lube? I mean, I'm... I think it's a lifesaver, and it, it saved me in the past when I screwed up and had that problem with my 450 SL. And so, like, I've always been a believer of that right there. I'm not sure. So what is your usual preferred method here? Well, A, I have a big bolt in the back, so I have some leverage. In this scenario, I think just another finger to help out yeah. is going to be the winner. Okay, push here, I'm going to let it rest there because you can't do any harm. Right. Now we're going to yep. move the next one. Slow and steady is really the trick. Okay. This yeah. one back here. Go down on your end a little. Yeah, that's it. Okay, do you want to rest for a sec? Or? Yeah, let's rest it there. Because this is where you've got a problem. Yeah. If you had a long bolt, you'd be able to yeah, pick up the weight. But it's resting nice. Yeah, right. but how do we get it from here to here? My thumb, my finger's not going to be able to be back here. Get a wire maybe. Pick okay. it up here. Yeah. I'm just taking yeah, away. for sure. Mm, almost at the. Oh, yeah, oh, there we go. So now everybody has to come in at once. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this yeah, one closest right. to me is a little high. That's it, right that's there. That's her. And in. Okay, you can get that out of there now. Let's get this. And it spins fine. All right. Okay, it's in. Quite a bit of friction with that assembly loop. Well, right? that's right, and it's on everything, right? So better reason I was less worried about the torque it took to turn the engine on. Because everything is sticky with that shit. Okay, it's a, what do they call it, a crescent yeah. key. So it's in there pretty good, though. It's cold in here. Ah. surprising there. okay all right man thanks again cheers that's right my uncle said one time like there was this jigsaw puzzle he says holy christ he says it's from four to six years he says and i can do that in about three hours well there's only 12 people <laughs> to do it <laughs> oh, <six> years. <laughs>
Well, that's not what's stuck. No. Hmm? Unless that seized oh, right there. Oh, that's stuck, sure it is. Oh, it's just very tight. I mean, it'll clean up. Almost certainly will start working But, very soon. I mean, if the starter can't overpower it, I'm a little surprised at that. But. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the is mystery there, solved. Uh, oh, well, slow, throw it back together. Is there a <laughs> clip on there or anything? No, that's what I, I, I don't know. Looks like it should just pop right off. Well, I'm wondering if there's additional bolts now. There's obviously some type of pressure. There's a relief valve there. Relief valve, yeah. What's the, uh, what's the... If you had a convertible top. Oh, oh yeah, that's an okay. eighth NPT. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Cool. You want to dump it out? Flip. I guess you See don't really have to now. I don't think there's anything left in it. No, well, not much. Okay. This one here. Yeah, there's a spring That's in there. Fell. But where oh, would you okay. fill this? I guess you just you fill, fill this. It there, yeah. So I gotta get the other end of it off now, I imagine. I suspect it comes apart like a starter where this whole mess is bolted from the other end. Yeah. So let's flip that fucker over. Sweet. That's exciting. Okay, turn this off. We only got one battery. Okay, very grim. Very grim inside. Ooh. It's a little crusty. It's not terrible. Like I was expecting it to be a lot no, worse than that. I've seen worse. It's just dirty. Man, it got dirty I quick. wonder... I wonder if the pump shaft seal or something let go. I was gonna say, is that... There's gotta be a pump seal. Oh, you figure it filled with hydraulic fluid. Yeah, but doesn't it sit up? The reservoir is... It sits it's like this. Below, right? hmm? It sits like this. But the reservoir is underneath. Yeah. Oh my god. It's all good. Yeah, I guess the trick is now get the get that the fucker winding seized. It'll come around. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put some penetrating oil in those. Yeah. yeah. And then honestly, I bet you if you clean it up, it'll work. It's just stuck. Really stuck. At both ends. But this is gonna be fine. Was that seized? No, nope, that wasn't. No, the brushes oh, were seized onto it. This should okay. just tap up too, right? It might be a very tight fit. I have to be lightly tapped or pressed off. Yeah, we might need the uh, oh, what's this? GMC convertible top manual. Something. What's that? Oh, it's a thrust, thrust bearing. Washer. Thrust pushing washer. Nice. Yeah, man. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that soak for a moment or two. Yeah, that's <laughs> this poor thing hasn't been disturbed in decades, eh? Here comes Dan. Here comes Dan. Gonna put it back on the road. If you can get this to work, that'll be a real save. That's really cool. Everybody else would give up. Bad just bad be like, oh, just buy it, try to try and find a good one. Freaking nasty. Oh. It'll, it'll get fixed. Yeah, you can't even see the armature one. Yeah, it's, it's so gross, right? They're all just it almost cool. needs uh, the hot soapy water treatment, maybe. Because that's water solid, brake fluid's water soluble. But you don't wonder if Pretty this clean. has been literally roasted. Like, don't, I know, don't, look at them. You think it might have been on fire? Well, or just somebody or ran it, stuck it and just like, oh, it's not working and just... Mm, 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 and the bearing got just, stuck. You hear it just like the heat going through these Could wines. be, who knows, yeah. Could I just, be a cat sat on the fucking switch for a couple of days and... Like I'm looking at these going or fricasseed the cat. Do you have like a little yeah. scrubby just out of curiosity? See well, if any of this crap comes off the windings? Or if it might be that melted. sprayed on factory insulation or yeah. whatever. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. That's uh, we're gonna to get, get the level one anything, and see what happens. Just, kind of sauce you got on in there today, Dan. Some vintage motorcraft. Wow, Ooh. what did you figure the vintage on that? Somewhere early eighties. I said uh, mid. Fuck, who knows? Is that a part number. Somebody will look it up for us. Part number right there. Well, actually, made in Canada. Yeah. Let's see the graphic again. Oh, well, that's some faded. It's here just sat. And it's hard to believe it sat in the sun and it didn't overheat and fail. Yeah. Like the aerosol works 40 years later. Yeah. 
It's because it's got the see good it go. CFCs in there. Coral, That's, yeah. Coral yeah. Coral carbon. Yeah. It's just let her burn. The oil, the oil has made it so the can won't rust. <laughs> right? It's just impossible for the Whoa, can to rust. That stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh man. This stuff's hardcore, man. It's the stuff. Imagine a de room. dealership full of guys just hammering that stuff. Yeah, I could have <laughs> Back when this shit wasn't even this rusty, because it was like 15 years old. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy to think the car was not that old. Mm -hmm. With the keyway on it, I don't think that's on a spline shaft. I don't think it's anything. I think it's just it just needs some coaxing because this yeah, it has nowhere to go, right? You can for sure it's tightened from above. Like you can, I don't believe you can buy these. I, I, I'm right. almost for certain you cannot buy these. No, that'll come around. Right. That looks to be in excellent condition. Yeah, it just stuck. Like there's no. There's a bearing in there somewhere that is seized, and I mean that would all. If you could just get her going, you could probably just you know spin it a bunch, and it would come back to life. If, if but you'd have to. That seal's <laughs> leaking again. Well, that's right. You got to get it apart. But I think the pump's fine. Okay, we did successfully get it apart. Finally, that was where it was seized, very badly seized into that bushing. But the good news about that is that the bushing is not worn out and there's the pump came right off in the back there was nothing really wrong with the pump right uh, that'll clean right it's up. a little warm but it's not like it i've huh? it's a little worn but not really bad yeah. well that just looks like where it was like pressed together actually oh yeah it was pressed together it's, it's just two pieces oh yeah so that's just where it was pressed together so that's in super good shape that'll nice. clean right up and this will clean up. There's probably, so this has to be a machine surface. The nice thing is, when we started turning that, this all just fell out. How nice was that? And the shaft's not even pitted to where it's damaged. Like you can- no. Once it's cleaned up, it'll, it'll be like, pssst. Do the same with the back one. Clean all this up and put it back together, it'll be fine. I guess we'll have to dismantle the relief valve clean too. Clean this up and put a meter on it. See if we get some. Yeah, we can. That's a good that. point. That's a good Without idea. that, we don't have. But anything. this, I bet you, any money is the same as a Chevy. Star. Well, I don't know. It looks a little small to me. Oh, okay. Uh, it does. I'm just. I mean, it does look pretty small, doesn't it? It could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it could be a. Uh, it could be a starter for like a small six-cylinder. Right. They wouldn't put the Cadillac starter in to run the windows, but they might use a starter. That is true. But if it's good, it's good, right? It's good to go, yeah. It's an awesome yeah. little motor. Where's my uh, brake line? The, the important thing is that the parts that you cannot make or buy are in perfect condition. And the parts that you can fix or buy if you had to seem also to be okay. So this is just a quick clean it up, kind of a tune up job, see just to see if it actually turns before we put any more work into it. Uh, that was the original ground stop went. Oh, I guess I can't really do that though, can I? Well, that won't do anything unless you cross this to, the, to that. Which I have. Or you can just put it to here and it'll start. Go to the other side of the yeah. If you just want it to just bang it and see if it works, but it does wait. anything. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the side. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Sure, man. Hit it. Yeah. Hit her again. That's got some torque. Oh, that is juicy, man. That's cool. That's good. That's the sound you're going to hear when you hit the windows. Yeah. <laughs> that's got some mass, eh? I'm to check if the solenoid works. Just fucking to this side yeah. and fucking ground it over. And jump it. I gotta hold the starter before you do that, though. It's got it's oh, gonna yeah, it's... come flying off the table. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to film it and do it. Sure, sure man. Looks so nice, exactly like it's supposed to. Cool. Okay. So that's just a dry run, no pump gear in it. If you put a pump gear in it and dip that in some. Uh, Sauce. Some 20, 10, 1030. You just fucking come geysering out the side. Just yeah, we don't need that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. So still a little work to be done, but that is exciting. There are probably skeptics who would have thought that that was never going to work that again. That was pretty rough. That okay. also cleaned up beautifully. 
And yeah, if you put that in there, you're spraying goo anywhere you want. That actually worked better than I thought it would. This thing rips. Yeah. Motivator. Yeah, 100%. 100% success. Motivator. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Well, that's nice to know, though. If I can find a seal for that. Is it a pound in seal? Yeah. And it spins nice. When you let off, it's like... I know. I thought that, like, yeah. Yeah. Light Jake. Yeah, so that was it. There's not even any bearings to do. No. That, th that thing is, what is it, 70 years old? 70 plus. We replaced how many parts? That armature. I Zero. That's the, that's the old General Motors, not the new General Motors. Is it bad? No, it looked like it was... It looked like it was shot. Yeah. It like the it's just dirty. Was cooked, but it's just, it's that just has hardly any use on it. That's a really cool thing, eh? Yeah. I love it. What a terrific, uh, what a terrific motor. Light buzz on the road tonight. <laughs> yeah. Cylinders ordered, yeah? Yeah, what cylinders else is ordered. Nothing. That's all he needs, right? Yeah. What about line or hoses? What's that? You got hoses. Oh, I have to get those made. Oh, you can get them yeah, made. Get okay. Them yeah, I goddamn God love it. So I gotta get the hoses. Rocket. I know, it's solid. Yeah. I love this car so much. I'm so jealous. It's the color. Look at the goddamn color. It's the most beautiful color I've ever seen on a car of this era. Like, it's my favorite part too. Another favorite part, the door. I think this is pretty well. I love, yeah, I love all that. Cool, I love all the options, yeah. And it's all working now. The Bel Air has that. So does the Vicky, the Ford Vicky. I need to get, that. there's some pieces Missing. back in there on the floor in the corners. That's yeah. gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull the uh, quarter panel off from the outside. You can see there's some daylight there. Yeah. But these unbolt, which is another thing that's completely bizarre. Yeah, that's awesome. That would be the time to, to do the Continental Kit swap. Yeah. Right, uh, rattle can restoration time. Uh, we were doing all of the accessories for the Buick. Everything that's uh, not got to be block color, kind of a three-quarter gloss black. There's the starter. I was looking and found this air cleaner in the back of the car, and I thought, well, we'll do that at the same time. Well, obviously not the same time, because the other pieces are done. But this has a really cool sticker that I taped over. It says Wildcat 445 and it has a cat. I thought it was a sticker, but it's actually uh, paint. It's actually painted on there with like a rubber stamp covered in paint. And I thought I wanted to save that uh, rather than buy the reproduction, which is almost certainly going to be a uh, vinyl cut decal. I tried polishing it and it was just too far gone. There's too much rust on it. So I stripped it down. We're going to try painting around it. And then I'm going to pull all this tape off and we're going to put a coat of clear on everything. And uh, again, just having fun. It's just rattle can tier, so let's go at it. So, I've had the rattle cans out in a while. Pretty fun. Uh, let's see how she goes. Oh yeah. That's not working at all. I'm gonna go around this way. Getting dizzy now. Better go back this way, I'm gonna fall over. Come on, don't choke out on me now. There we go. Right, don't need much, just so the paint will stick. All right, good. Dust a little black on here. Don't have very much, but whatever. First of two or three coats. Spray cans are so fun. No time cleaning the gun, just put it down and go inside. There's a little ding in this, and again, whatever. They can deduct me, I don't care.
I'm gonna do two coats. We'll pull the tape off. I'm gonna try to touch up some of the missing paint around the cat and the lettering. And then we're just gonna blow a coat of clear on the whole thing and hope for the best. I'm gonna touch up a few spots. see any percentage in going further than that really. He says as he goes a little further, clear of unknown provenance here, I don't know what this is, let's see what happens. Does it wrinkle it? Doesn't seem to, so he just sits there. Well, it's getting one wet coat of this, I think. Yeah, I, I gotta say, that's uh, substantially better than I thought that would turn out. Um, it was very, very rough looking and uh, quite rusty and now that looks, uh, at a quick glance, almost like new. When I saw that it was painted and not a, not a sticker and not a water slide, I thought that'd be fun to try and save it. You can see how this one, the stamp was wetter some of the detail is lost and that one there had a little less paint on it or for whatever reason the fives at the edges the paint was was uh that's not been rubbed off that was actually never actually stamped perfectly there anyway that kind of stuff amuses me so you're stuck watching it i guess <laughs> Buick enthusiast Mark is here and we are going to enthusiastically hammer the cylinder heads back onto this engine. Got our fancy new gaskets here. Look at those guys, that looks nice. Yeah. I'll grab a cylinder head and we'll okay. just see which one's which. I think. So this is the... Uh, That's the one we, we did the valves in? Right. Okay. It wasn't, I just want to make note so when we do a compression test, if one of them is zero, we'll know why. Plus, we should wipe this off quick. Yep. Pretty sure we had it pretty good though. Can you see what the torque is? Which one are we going to put an asterisk beside this one here? Number so four. four. Yep, number four. Number four. Pistons, rods, heads. Here we go. 75, 80, something. 65, 75 foot pounds torque. I'm excited. This is why I was happy to get the heads done ahead of time because I wanted to just slam them on when we were done. And button this thing up and I don't think that we need to be any better than that. No. Well I'm gonna roll it on there then. Okay. What am I doing? There's one. Oh the fucking piston stick up so much. They do. There we go. You got it. Okay. Okay. Now you need some bolts. Put some bolts, you got it. 
I got it. I guess I should have grabbed the bolts first. <laughs> Oops. And there you go. There we go. Because they're all the same, right, those bolts? I don't should think be. so. There's one or two that are different, like where the generator mounts. And yeah, stuff, yeah. But which... mostly the same, yeah. Does this thing have a power steering? It's going to. Okay, so that's on the... Did you know the one in the backyard, the parts car does not have power steering or brakes? That's not a surprise, it's a Canadian built car. It's a pretty low end car. My Invicta was the same way. Yeah? Yeah. Chased every hole on this block. Really? It should, yeah, we, we did every one with a tap. And cleaned everything and blew them all out. So it should be... Cleaner than finger new. Finger tight all the way to the bottom is what yeah. I'm hoping. So far, so good. So I did end up shortening the stem on that one. You that did, eh? all the okay. On. I was wondering if you did that. Yep, I see that. There, there you can yeah. see it. <clears throat> yeah, so these, there is a too. number. There's a number that you're supposed to aim for, mm -hmm. or a maximum, and, and it was a little beyond it. So oh, okay. Probably took 20 thou off. All right, so it's going to be guaranteed to work then. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Every one of them right to the bottom, finger tight. So That's not bad. Let's uh, let's bad. check the car outside okay. and see which one gets the long ones. You might have gotten it running, but I've done that with lots oh, of cars. Oh yeah, but then this it would car, smoke. I want this car to be nice. Yeah, because then it would smoke if it. I'm going to wipe this up quick. I okay, don't right. Know what's doing since it's been sitting there. I want to take them up to torque very gradually because yes. those gaskets are so pillowy that you could <laughs> exactly you could warp the thing. Yeah, very very carefully. Two or three, two or three rounds yeah. at least. Its issue is not going to be that it's dirty anyway, and mm -hmm. and you know part of the fun of this for me is and why I'm not worried about it compared to the goddamn garbage that we've gotten running. This thing is, <laughs> this thing this is a miracle it. child. No yeah, kidding. This thing is like the greatest engine I've ever owned. <laughs> compared to that Ford. Yeah, and that, that thing, and it's disaster. running around. Yeah, and it's driving. And it's driving. And so we, you know, like I don't know how much she did with the Stude engine. Uh, uh, we had that right down. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Left the cranky, and everything else came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I never replaced the rings in it. I never replaced the bearings in it either. Well, that thing ran beautifully. And it runs beautifully. And that's kind of why when I saw these bearings, I'm like, these are way better than the Studebaker, mm -hmm. and that thing runs fine. So that's how I kind of made up my mind that. Okay, I'll let you come to this side and then before you land that thing, I want to basically make sure that I get the gasket so that it doesn't move. Okay, there. Okay, I think you got it. Okay. I'll hold it. Oh, just give me any old bolt. that guy off and we'll take the rocker shaft off. And, uh, I guess we don't want to mix those up, eh? The rocker shaft? Can you mix them up or yeah. not? Yeah. We don't want to do that. Should be, but we, we won't. Just to uh, yeah. you know, save side. This side gets two of the weird ones? Yes. Okay. And they were both at the very front right Both at the very front, yep. Okay. So there's the Can't wait. We fired up Andy's engine at Dan's. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, so he's got a stand that you can actually test test yeah. on him. Yeah. Well, you can't load him up. You can't like it's not a dyno. Okay. But it's a stand with all the gauges and and we rigged up an exhaust system so it goes outside. So Just two sound. straight pipes out the door. Sounds awesome. I bet it does. Yeah. yeah. It sounded great. It was fun. And uh, yeah, and and 
And he was right. He's like, you know, the only reason I dyno my engines when I build them is so I can fix the leaks if there's any leaks. It's a good idea. And I don't really care because if you set it up right, you shouldn't be finding huge amounts of horsepower that you were missing. Like no. You can try a little timing, try a little of this and that, but Ash said too when he built his Datsun engine, they went in there and they pulled a couple of times and he got it to make the exact advertised horsepower mm -hmm. on that little Nissan engine that he did. They're supposed to be 175 at like 6,500 RPM or whatever it was, and he's like 174.9. That's pretty tight now. Doesn't seem like that long ago that we tore this apart, so I'm pretty happy. You're like, it's coming together nice, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping that we could have this sitting on the stand ready to run before the end of winter. And we did be, it. It'll be and ready. we got the engine in the Renault. That thing will be on the road this spring. I think I'm going to end up painting most of the car. Yeah, you know, I guess you, pr you probably you probably will, <laughs> just because once you start painting in. Well, See all of the all the problems. And the trouble is the the, the hail. Yeah, that's true. If that car wasn't hailed, I'd probably drive it because I'm fixing the top. Yeah, yeah. And if you fix the top and it wasn't hailed, it's presentable. But with the hail, not, nobody will see anything else, right? That's true. And just be like, oh, too Especially bad it's hailed. Black. Yeah, too bad it's hailed. You'll never get a dime for it. You know, not that I built it to sell, but no, sooner but or later you everything built it to gets drive sells. And, yeah, you built it to drive. Well, I want to be proud of it. Yeah. As proud as a person can be out of a car. That's right. Well, hey, no, there's nothing wrong with those things. I love it. Yeah. It's it's neat to see all these years later that because that's, that's the car I have that the kids think is cool. Because I mean, the thing is, they don't care about this stuff. No, no, they, they don't. just think they're weird. There we go. Now we'll go to the other side. Yeah. This I can do. I mean, that's I'm right. into this, this whole engine for 800 bucks. That's right. This is cheap. You know, nothing fancy. Cams available, chains available, $30 timing chain, shit like that. Mercedes, right. everything put a zero on it. Exactly. And I'm not spending 10 grand just on parts. And then if you start machining it, yeah, it just gets ridiculous. And if it was my only car, but none of these, I can't say that about any of my cars. No. I have so many cars and they all, you know, they just have to run. I'm not, if I only had room for one car, it would be pretty nice. Well, that's going to be my, uh, my retirement car, that thing. Okay. So, that's good. here you go, you got heads. Heads, done. done. Okay. I'm mostly worried that we don't get a nick yeah. here yeah, that exactly. takes out a lobe, right? Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, the fucking edges of them are just. Shouldn't have to do this, you know. No. Nope. Look at this one. Jesus. God damn it. Well, at least they clean up pretty easily, but still. You know, we ordered. I ordered that seal, and it came in a box the size of a toaster oven for a seal. And then you buy some lifters and they throw them in a bag. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, no. just put the seal in an envelope and throw it on my porch, but, but don't put the lifters in a sandwich bag and <laughs> bang Call them it. around. <laughs> like, it's just dumb. Yes. Oh, yeah. Slick. Uh -huh. Slick. You're mm -hmm. gonna have enough of that shit? Oh, yeah, I think so. Okay, because whatever's left, we can just. Yeah, that's what you, that's your plan. Yeah. And that's the idea. Yeah, but <clears> it <throat> tends to be pretty reliable. Yes, never had an issue with. You it. get a lot of miles out of these engines. Uh, about a hundred thousand, easy. Yeah. Okay. Well. I mean, when I pulled mine apart, it had a hundred and thirty-five thousand on it, and it was smoking. Yeah. And the valve train wasn't noisy. I looked in the book, and it does not mention valve seals anywhere. No, I know. So they didn't have them. No. 
Okay, because the ones that I put on there are like 5% better than not having valve seals at all. That's yeah. what came with the kit. Every one that I used and to take apart, like, they had none in them. Yeah. <laughs> look at how these fucking things showed up. Look at that. Actually, we probably can't say that on camera. Hmm? Where the parts came from. Look at that. Like... There was already a big one in here that I polished off, but... I mean... I'm not... Am I being unreasonable? No. Am I being, do I expect, like, look at that. Yeah, That's there's a couple fucking, more up there that I see. There's seen. not shit, I don't have dents that bad in fucking bumpers. <laughs> like, I wouldn't accept that <clears throat> if it was in a bumper that I sent out. No, I mean, as long as there's no burr, the dent itself is harmless. It's the burr around it that'll That's wrap right. it, yeah. right? So if we can get the burr off, the dent doesn't matter. No, it'll just trap oil. Yeah, that's fine. That's what this groove is for. It's just mm -hmm. a second oil groove at this point. Yeah. But, guys... I'll tell you, if this was a big dollar engine, these would go right in the right garbage. Back. Or right back, yep. and I'd get new ones. And I'd say, ship them in a goddamn box. I don't think I'm being unreasonable here. Mm -hmm. This is... Absolutely appalling. And who, you know, and I'm not blaming the manufacturer. I'm pretty sure the manufacturer doesn't ship the lifters in a fucking Ziploc bag. Okay, well, at least we're almost done before the fucking sun comes up here. This was supposed to be a 30 <laughs> second job that turned into half the night. Yeah. Like, oh, we'll pop the lifters in and go on to whatever. Nope. We want to make sure it's done right. You don't have well, to do it again. There's nothing the worse best. than pulling things something yeah. apart. Yeah, I'll spend as much time as long as I don't do it twice. I just can't muster any enthusiasm for doing stuff twice. No. Same with painting. Painting a car the first time is fun. Painting the second time, fuck you. I don't yeah. want nothing to do with it. No, I don't blame you. There, this one is not fucked on the bottom. Well, we've got the best for last here, it looks like. They going in still good? Oh yeah. Slick. None of them have been bitchy. Nope. <clears throat> yeah. Just my fingers are slippery, that's all. Oh yeah, that's fine. I guess I never really thought, like, that that was going to be a situation. No, I wouldn't have expected it either. All right. Ooh, that looks killer though. Hey. Oh, look at that lift. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think they stuck up that far with the old cam. <laughs> my sliming, and then we'll uh, put the old... Uh, Cover on. Well, I guess we'll put the push rods. Oh yeah, I've got to put the push rods and the rockers on. Probably yeah. work. Probably be better if we did that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. And then we'll uh, slime it up and work. This looks fun. Are these bitch to get half? They are. Well, I'm just going to start one or two threads and then start lining these guys up. Yeah. There that's about all you can do. Yeah, that's fine. Because they do take a little bit to get properly lined up. Yeah, look at these crazy rocker arms, eh? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Be on a am I on a lobe on this one? Yep. Okay. Okay. I think we're getting close now. Uh, uh. So, which is up here and here. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's why mine was bitchy. And you got that one. Mm-hmm. I'm landed with them all too. So now they need to be just torqued to 25 pounds. I think it is. Okay. I mean, the key thing is that these are uniform 
and down, and I think I'm okay with them. Yeah, and they're all tight down to the bottom. And okay, and they're light, riding well. Lightly torqued. Yeah, and they're riding well. They're not. Yeah, everybody up, so seems to be sitting in center, and so we're good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. You can get the gasket here. We can get the gasket there, and we can put the valley cover on after it's boiling. Perfect. Now, how do you do your gaskets? Do you do them usually with grease and um, on, or just straight? Or do you use AT RTV or whatever? Uh, which one are we talking about here? This one. Your valley pan gasket. Actually, okay. what we're doing. Yep. To just put it on for now to keep that clean. Yeah. We can just drop it on. Drop it on, yeah. So, because I'll probably take this off and do a better make job it a little it. better, more yeah. presentable for paint. Although you don't see it anyway, do you? Um, no, but I, I, I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to that too. Splendid. It's actually in. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's where yeah, the other one will keep the, uh, keep keep the, the mice, out. mice out of it. Yeah. And then, you know, you can valve cover it up and then. Yes. We're good. And it then... looks pretty. tray of any kind on the top here? Mm, that's how I got it. Okay. Yeah. There's no... Because I know mine had a uh, mine had a PCV system. This one doesn't. It's got oh, a draft yeah. tube. Yeah, she's a drafter. <clears throat> okay, let me get some tape and tape up that uh, intake so we don't have any half-drunken saboteurs. <laughs> <laughs> Drop and dump a beer down it. <laughs> this is the only thing that can do any damage now. Perfect. Nice. Fun. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Thanks for the help, buddy. That's awesome. Oh, sweat. I there love it. it. Yeah, it's fun, eh? It just looks so awful with that Ford blue on it. It does, yeah. <laughs> That's got to change. That's got to change. I'll get the dual exhaust manifolds ready and okay. I've got... Uh, and then, yeah, the intake and um, like the, the, there's a plug in the bottom of the intake. Um, it's, a, it's a metal sort of frost plug. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that that isn't loose because otherwise you're going to have a permanent vacuum leak. Wait till that has that nice four barrel on it sitting there. Oh yeah, how's your time? Well, right now it says it's 6.30. This is a B-17 pilot's watch. I was just going to say, if you got a minute, we should sit at the bar and have a look at the one that I got in the mail. Sure. I actually got two in the mail. All right. We'll one I that. haven't even seen. You guys know what time it is? It's time for Dean's Greasy Flips. There we 
you go. Breakfast of champions. Mmm. Bula. Alright. Sell some cars here. <clears throat> you know, gotta get professional. Look my best. Another day, another greasy. Uh, uh. Oh. Well, hey guys, welcome to Dean's Greasy Flips. It's a winter special. I've got a treat for you today. I've got a 1975 Pontiac Grand Prix LJ that came in not too long ago. Pretty cool. It was a 455. Unfortunately, the engine's robbed for a Trans Am. I do have the transmission. I've got a lot of goodies with this thing. I knew the old owner, and uh, he really did a number on me. <laughs> Anyways, I've known this car for a while. My little brother had it, and now I've got it. But I don't need it. In fact, I'm kind of tired of looking at it. So maybe one of you viewers would want it, hey? It's a cool muscle car. 75 Pontiac Grand Prix LJ. It does come with a transmission that has been rebuilt with a stall converter. No receipts, can't prove that. But I hear it's true. Pause your end. You look at the tires, they're bald because it's been doing burnouts since day one. And this is the promo picture car. This is the very first one, I think. No guarantees though. <laughs> yep, Pontiac did some great styling back in 75. It's got a nice pointy nose. You know, the rally rims, you know. It's, uh, I mean, it needs a little work, but I think you guys are motivated enough to get this one on the road, because I sure as hell ain't. I'm going low, low, low on this price. I'm gonna sell this thing today or tomorrow, or next week, hopefully, for the low price of $890. That's taxes in, that's everything in, that's signed out of here, bring your trailer, bring your truck. I really do want to keep it, I really do, but you know, same old story goes. <laughs> I got more cars coming in, I got no time. <laughs> I'm a busy guy, as you can tell. I really want you guys to have this car. The 75 for this is a special car man like coming I mean, to it's got the blood ox blood interior it's got the no vinyl roof it's got the rally rims the drive shafts in the trunk i got the keys what more do you want a little mouse clean up here and there you're gonna have yourself a wonderful colonnade 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 gm this is the pinnacle of the muscle era i think hey maybe not i am overstocked guys i got my tow truck guys come in with more cars Winter, this winter's gonna turn to spring. Spring's gonna have more flips coming. We're gonna keep flipping them, flipping them. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a flip right now, but that'll wreck my suit and I'm not too agile. What do you say we have a look? Check over the inside, come check it out. Give us the tour, buddy. All right, well, start over here. The best year, the old Pontiac, eh? It still kind of kept the old arrowheady look in the front end, it's cool. I got the PMD Rally 2s. Uh, missing a lug nut, have to get you one. Sorry, forgot about that. Uh, a little, you know, a little scabaroony down here, but solid frame. Yeah, here's where the creatures live. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got the cool bucket seats, the high back buckets, and the slap sticky shifter there, and the, you oh, know, yeah, the sweet, sport, cheesy old tunes. stereo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, radial tune suspension. Yeah, wood grainy look, eh? Hey? That's cool. Well, there's a lot of fun options in the old thing. Yeah, kind of a neat old thing. Uh, optional dead mouse smell. Oh yeah, that too. Tilt though. Tilty, yeah. Tilty. Tilty. And <laughs> uh, bucket seats that me. aren't actually ruined. She needs some lovey, but oh wow, what? Oh, the light fell out. Sorry guys. That comes with it extra. I mean for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a seat. And hold I'm gonna, house. yeah. Hold your breath. Though. You, guys you can imagine that the mirror was there. <laughs> yeah, this car needs to be restored. Well, you're not restoring it. No, God, anyway. no it's got to be a guy with motivation. He's not slamming beer skis all the time. <laughs> oh, it's got the realistic deck. That looks pretty realistic. It <laughs> looks pretty realistic. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's an oldie. Oh, yeah, keys. Keys, hood open. Let's it's pop a, her. Yeah, there's no engine in it. We'll get a shot of the tranny over by the tree here. I bought the car and he brought me the tranny leader. Oh yeah, 
Here, I'll move this shit out of the way. Hold on, Scott, sorry. Oh, I don't spill your beer on your Dodge. Jesus! Jesus. So, so was that a TH400? Yeah, or? there's your Turbo 400 that goes with the car there. And you can tell someone painted it and rebuilt it. And then, uh, anyways, <laughs> I just got it dropped off not long ago. The Certainly guy. Certainly tell somebody painted it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Got the trailer hitch guys option, you know? Oh yeah, that's good. We used that already to tow it out of its hole. Yeah, we did. I think there's some stuff in the trunk here for the old Grand Prix LJ. It's got the cool little trunk thing. Uh, yeah, thing there. that's neat, hey? Yeah, cool. Okay, there's a rad, there's, oh, chrome air cleaner still there, rad chrome air around. cleaner. We got the- Stealing that. Yeah, we, yeah, we, <laughs> we got, yeah. No, oh, this you is can my have... commission. I want the knob. Okay. That was one of my beautiful. You can have the air cleaner if you want it. No, I don't Okay, anyway. So this one is a little bit of a project, but oh, speaker that fell down. Okay. Yeah, I hate to say it. It's not anywhere near the worst car you've ever had. No, no, it's, it's not bad. It's actually a savable car. You're right, Scott. It's, it's not, not terrible. It's beyond repair. No. No. I mean, anybody it's... other than your brother could probably fix it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the lines of the front, like if you're on airplane view, it's got that cool... Yeah, sure. I mean, they, GM's well, a great... Well, these, style. in their day, this was a pretty stylish car. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, AC car. Oh, it's an AC car, isn't it? Roars are a little iffy down there. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. there's a little ifness happening. A little yeah. ifness. <laughs> yeah. Cruise control option, cool. Yeah, most of them would have had that. Power steering Cruise. still there. Yeah. I don't know. Brakes gone. Oh, breaking all masters gone, so yeah, shit. Yeah, I think people... It's not smashed. Uh, no, not... I don't yeah, think. you would, you would yeah. know better than I would. Well, I mean, I can see that the front's all there, so... Oh. <laughs> it's not <laughs> smashed, I don't think. They're cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Yeah. Sport mirrors, they probably all had that. I think so. They used to have some pinstriping. Yeah. These big stupid doors, eh? They're, They're so long. long. Yeah. It's got the requisite, uh, you know, half inch of sag, which was <laughs> factory on these. Yeah. So it's, yeah, you they're, can they're... see some Bondo here and here. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's cracking out there. Oh, okay. But that's not heavy collision damage. Uh, yeah, the quarters and wheel arches are getting a oh, little yeah. dusty. Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's a project, I guess, but it's kind of a muscle car project in a way. This is old cars now, it's you old know. Cars. The, this thing's freaking forty-eight years old, man. Yeah, so you know, hard to believe. You don't. If you're gonna look around for a mint one, it's gonna take a while, and you're gonna pay a lot more than how much? Eight hundred and ninety dollars. Uh, yeah, eight hundred ninety bucks, man, out the door. Out the door, you guys. I mean, that's a good deal, right? I mean, that's you, even you to trash. me, and I don't even like these cars. That's a good deal. Yeah, so. Get yourself a 400 or 455 big block pond. Bring it down, put it in, and drive home. Yeah, you could actually if you want to. I'm, I'll, if you're <laughs> do not encourage that. Right, let's not encourage that. Dean's okay. Greasy Flips does not endorse bringing your own engine over and driving the car home. I'm not liable for anything that happens here. Yes. <laughs> Tiny bit of whatever. <laughs> a couple emblems there for the LJ sign, but well, I mean, for my price is good. I think I your say, price is a bargain. There was a time when these, I just could not see any redeeming value in these things, but you know, yeah. now when you look at it next to a new car, it's actually pretty nice. Yeah. Like new cars are such garbage that even cars like this, I'm kind of like, you know what? Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of cool. Cool. Hey, did we forget to mention the best part of this car, which is the windshield? It is perfect. Yeah. That's worth your price of admission right there. Yeah. I think if somebody needs a bumper and a windshield, this car is worth more than you're asking. But so yeah, I'd like to don't see make you... Dean an offer. Pay him what he wants. Yeah, yeah. And my price is really good on this car. Your price no, is I... insane. Your management's gone insane. Oh, it's you. Well, I think so too, man. Like, sure, there's a lot here that you could work with. And, you know, being a kind of a muscle car, I think it's like, you know, somebody's got to be interested in this thing. I have the actual framed picture of the promo car on my wall in my room at home. The actual Burgundy Grand Prix LJ. Like, oh, that's cool. 75 Grand Prix LJ, big block car. Pause your rear, rebuild trans. Sleeps low, three. Yeah. Low, low price of whatever, what I say? 864? 890. Oh, don't right. discount it already. Darn it, man. Well, you held me to it. There, I you slip of the tongue and there you go. Now it's 864. <laughs> man, what the Dean, hell? Am I Dean's doing? knocking off 26 bucks I today bargain, only. Bargain basement prices here, guys. Man. <laughs> 
Anything we could do to get it away from Dean's brother and into good hands. That's right. <laughs> When's the last time you saw BFG TAs that are probably, I'm not going to say they're original, but they're of the same vintage as the car. Oh. Like these are the oldest TAs I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> like these puppies, they must have been on the back because they're burned <laughs> off. That's some classic TAs right there. And since we're under here, we'll have a look. Sway bar. Uh, the frame looks fairly square, actually. Rest of her, it's pretty pretty much there, though. Cool. Flip Town <laughs> has had way worse cars than this. <laughs> yeah, there's been some... Wheel tubs are okay, and fenders are a little patchy pooed, but not bad. Yeah. There you go, folks. Cool. There you go. Dean's Greasy Flips, East Clairview, 153rd, take the 17th Street exit, and you're there. Hey guys, thanks so much as always for watching the show this week and we again had a terrific time putting it together. Thanks also uh, for uh, hitting the old like button and leaving a comment. It uh, does help the videos get seen and we gotta do what we can. A couple of quick announcements here. I just wanted to say a very special and sincere thank you to uh, everybody who signed Laura's petition last week. She was very gratified to see that uh, over a thousand of you guys signed it and got her up to somewhere north of 3,000 signatures on that. And, in the end, I think it's a literal and figurative case of trying to fight City Hall on that. It, it just, it seemed like a done deal and it was done behind closed doors for whatever reason. Laura doesn't use the kind of language that we do around here. She seems to have found a hidden talent for it when it came to this situation. Uh, we will let everybody know how it's going and we're just hoping to uh, mitigate the, uh, the damage that this is going to cause. Anyway, uh, thanks again so much to everybody. It was very kind, and uh, I know she uh, really felt encouraged reading all of your kind comments. So that was very cool of you guys, and uh, I feel pretty proud of the community that we have here. For whatever reason, there's a tiny bit more to this to some people than just some mindless uh, nonsense, which is what we strive for. But if we, uh, you know, if we've achieved something more than that. Um, you know, I guess I'll take it. On the topic of thank yous, of course, to the patrons of the show, you guys literally make it possible. Uh, this show would not exist, this channel would not exist without the support from those people. On the topic of shameless marketing, um, we are running a quick promo in our little store here where we sell coffee mugs and I don't have any of the shirts on, but some people have them. Uh, we've got our same old shit coffee mug that is a perennial bestseller and we are running a promo where we're going to include the very rare and sought after Dean's Greasy Flip beer cozy beer insulation thing. Beer season is coming up guys and we're going to include with every coffee cup a free uh, Dean's Greasy Flip beer holder. No one per customer or anything. Every coffee cup will get a free one. So uh, that's going to go until we are out of one or the other. Thanks so much. It really does help keep us going. Again, the uh, if we had to do this show based on ad revenue, it just would not happen. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'm really uh, quite stoked with how the Buick engine's coming along and how everything else is coming along. We've got a lot more coming up on the Renault, on the Buick, and the SM, and Dan's Oldsmobile, and uh, I mean whatever other debris gets in the way here. Uh, we are busy seven days a week here, and uh, I really appreciate that anybody would stop in and pay us a visit. So everybody have a terrific week, and we'll see you all very soon. Cheers. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit.